Field Marshal. It's done. We're ready. You're sure? As sure as I've ever been. You heard him. Everyone to your stations. This is the first step toward victory, Recon. Toward a galaxy where everyone is in their rightful place. Where we have everything we deserve. But it is still just beyond our reach. It's time to seize it. Are you sure about this? Did you not hear what I told Hedda? I'm not asking if you're ready. I'm asking if you think this is right. I think it's too late for these questions. And it's what Hedda wants. That's all that matters. Rakan! Don't ask again, Sahar. Now get going. I don't want anyone blaming me when you don't pull your weight. Take Galar squad and get to the Lambda sector. Move! Mandalore, we're receiving reports of hidden chain activity across three sectors. Requesting guidance to prioritize response teams. I said get your people moving! Now! Mandalore. Head has come out of hiding, but her people are attacking everywhere at once. I need to know you hear what I'm telling you. Mandalore. Shay! This meeting better be worth it. I can't stand all this sneaky, underhanded spy stuff. Working from the shadows is not the way to get things done. Yeah, you're definitely the kind that likes to make an entrance. Let's just get what we came for and get out of here before we draw too much attention. I know we gotta do whatever it takes to track down Hedda, but dealing with smugglers is tricky on a good day. It's even worse when Harita Wald is involved. The Mech Shah Gang? How are they involved with the hidden chain? Hedda needs blasters, armor, supplies, whatever she can get from wherever she can get it. And smugglers don't ask questions. Get down! Oh, wow! They're wearing matching uniforms now. Wonder how Hedda got them to agree to that. There they are. That could be a problem. What do you think? How do you want to play this? The hostages are in the crossfire. I don't want them being used as shields. We have the element of surprise. Let's use it. You want to think outside the box?
Nice trick. Form up, Clan Braylor. We have a job to do. Come on! Thanks. Don't let your guard down. There could be more of them on the station. They used to this kind of thing around here, you know? Firefights, lockdowns, but it's usually not this organized. Thank goodness you were around. Master Cedral Jend, you were searching for the Seeds of Rage. A mission that could not have succeeded without your valuable assistance. Rass, where's the commander? Right here, Chet. But we're kinda in the middle of something. Head has come out of hiding. Hidden chain strike teams are moving on targets across the galaxy, all at once. I had a feeling that's what was happening. What do you mean? Jakaya. Nibana. What's... Rasp, later. When everything's calmed down, I'll tell you more. There's no pattern to these attacks. Another happens as soon as we put one down. I don't have enough people to keep up. Intel says the Hidden Chain are going to hit an out-of-the-way spot on Ord Mantel. I'm out of people to send there. I don't mean to intrude, but if you want to avoid raising the Republic's hackles, it might be wise to send someone with close ties to them instead. He's right, Jakaya. Let me handle this. I've got nothing to offer in the way of backup. Are you sure you want to take this on? We are allies, Jakaya. I'll help you when you need it. Vorente Borsha. I'm glad you're on our side. Ras, I need you with me. On my way. Is it me or did Jakaya sound... I don't know. Not like Jakaya. I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I have a suggestion that I hope would prove useful to your mission. There are rumors that the Separatists on Ord Mantell are not adhering to the terms of their ceasefire with the Republic. The political landscape may be too delicate to navigate. Speak with Captain Blyze at Fort Garnick. I've had business there before, and he was a very diligent collaborator. I also know that he has experience dealing with the Separatists. Then I'll start by meeting with him. I appreciate the information. Sounds like you've got what you need. If you've got it from here, I need to get moving. I've never seen Jack so impatient. Get back to Shakaya. Tell him I've got this under control. Oh, uh, hello. I was not aware Captain Blyze had any appointments today. My sincerest apologies, but he is attending to other business at this moment. Is there uh, anything I can help you with? C -c Certainly, but there may be a slight, almost inconsequential, really, problem. I suspect Master Blythe may, may be missing. He was due to return hours ago. I don't know what could be keeping him. I have reviewed my agenda and itinerary protocols at least three times. There is nothing scheduled during this hour, and he hasn't informed m me of any changes to his plans. Nor do I. I never thought I would say this, but there must be something in all this that could help locate him. Oh, uh, but Master Blyze forbade me from touching his things after I executed my most recent filing system improvements. Under normal circumstances, for desperate m m measures. There. I have just requested the very You are now permitted to view any documents stored in this office.
If you'll excuse me, I need to file a copy of your temporary security clearance with the relevant parties. This is why you mind your business, old man. Wouldn't be very good at my job if I did that, would I? And I'm not that old, blasted. Really, Blyce? Couldn't just take your medicine? Had to go and call someone to rescue you? I don't care about smarts. I care about respect. And no one will respect me if I just roll over and let the old man go. You wanna stop me? Go ahead and try. I do everything I can to keep this trash off Ord Mantell, but it's never enough. It's you. Don't think I'm ungrateful or anything, but what are you doing here? Yeah, I got that. I mean, why did you come looking for me? Or was all this just a lucky coincidence? What? Hold on, you can't just drop a bomb like that on me. Do you know when? Where? Yeah, but this all came out of nowhere. Not much I can do when I'm completely blindsided. Starting to feel like the old days again. Guess more than a few years of peace was too much to ask. People like to think that the Separatists just went away all those years ago. Truth is, they've just been laying low, learning from their mistakes. There's supposed to be a truce between the Republic and the Separatists. Nothing they do technically breaks the agreement, but they come about as close as you can get. Take Kesson's Landing, frontier town not far from here. Not much to look at, and folks keep to themselves. I've been hearing chatter about weapons moving through there. A few reports of missing people, too. I assumed it was another Separatist ploy to intimidate us. Now I'm thinking it's something else. Something that has to do with this attack you're talking about. I can start digging. Get us some more details about what's going on over there. If you help me with something. This isn't a personal favor. These sons of huts have been running supplies for the Separatists. They outbid everyone on everything. Rations, munitions, you name it. They're buying it up. Whatever we can get our hands on, they're not above stealing it. You get these supplies to militia posted around the area. They'll be in a better position to defend us when the time comes. I'll head over to Kesson's Landing and see what people are saying. Meet me there when you're done. But I'm not gonna sit here, smile, and say thank you for the scraps either. I know this isn't what you expected, Captain. But I am here to help you. There you are. What are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. This Jedi just let me know that you're not actually part of a Republic team. That no one else is coming to defend Kesson's Landing against raiding Mandalorians. Did I get that right? I don't represent the Republic, no. I'm assuming you didn't know that. Captain Bly's contacted Republic High Command, wanting to know when he could expect the rest of the reinforcements. He couldn't believe that they only sent you. My requests for support have been ignored for months. How else did you expect me to react? I don't understand, Captain. Why did you feel the need to report me? That's not what I was doing. I was asking for more support. That's it. This place had plenty to deal with before you showed up. Those resurgent Separatists I told you about? At this point, they're a case full of detonite. One little shock, like this Mandalorian attack you say is coming, and everything goes up in a blaze. I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw you, the best of the best in that warehouse. I thought the Republic was gonna finally do right by us for once. Turns out they didn't even know about this. The situation is complicated. Bringing the number of soldiers you asked for was out of the question. We need to be ready to fight the Mandalorians without giving the Separatists a reason to break the truce. 
It's a very fine line to walk. But Republic High Command heard you, Captain. General Derune personally asked me to come and investigate the situation. And to tell you to be careful. I don't want to hear any excuses about the Separatists. The Hidden Chain are coming. War is coming. The Republic turning a blind eye won't stop it. If the Republic was ignoring the threat, we wouldn't be having this conversation. I didn't come here to keep tabs on you or to interfere. But you're not going to do this alone. I'll help, however I can. Well, whatever you two are going to do, you might want to get going. What's going on? One of my scouts says there's a whole pack of Separatists messing around in the geothermal station nearby. She says there are some tough sons of huts with them. Got armor and weapons that are way too expensive looking to be Separatists. Sounds like the Hidden Chain are already here. In force. And there's plenty of ways this can go wrong now that they've taken over that plant. What are they doing with the Separatists? You didn't notice them making connections with the Mandalorians? What part of I don't have enough resources wasn't clear to you? I don't even have enough bodies to take back the geothermal plant. If we all go kicking down the front door, that'll give them time to blow the place sky high. Hold on. There's an exterior ventilation shaft that's just the right size for the two of you to sneak in. Then you can get the jump on them. We'll keep that in mind. Let's go, Arn. Right behind you. Leave her alone! Go! Hey, take it easy! We're trying to help you. You're not with them? With the hidden chain? No, we're not. Then what are you doing here? Make it quick! You're not a Jedi. Your connection to the Force feels so... new. You're right. I'm not a Jedi. As for... whatever this is I can do... I've got bigger problems. I was trying to find my sister. I haven't seen her in days. Mina works here, so I thought... I ran into them instead. It's a good thing we got here when we did. I had it under control. You call that under control? I got away from them for a minute, before you showed up. But I messed up. Got distracted. Distracted? By what? Cooling rods. They're the only things keeping the thermal station from blowing half of Ord Mantell into a crater. Those Gundarks in the fancy armor were taking crates full of them out of here. I tried to stop them, or at least slow them down. If we don't find those cooling rods and put them back, this whole place is going up. Then we need to move. Now. The problem is, I don't know where they took the cooling rods. That doesn't sound good. Damn it! My sister told me about this. There's a quick fix, but I'll need your help. What do you need me to do? We can redirect the water from the reservoir into the back spillway. That should provide enough coolant to keep things stable. For now. Someone's got to watch my back in case there's any more of them around. And someone's got to stay here to flip the spillway switch when I give the signal. I'll stay behind. Let me know if you need backup. Let's go! All right, that should be everything. Tell your friend to hit the switch! All right, we're ready. Open the spillway. It's working! Levels are stabilizing! I think we'll be okay. Can you keep an eye on things while I find out where the rest of the hidden chain went? I've got it. I'll let you know if something changes. 
We're in the clear for now, but long term, those cooling rods have got to go back where they belong. The people who took the cooling rods, do you know where they might have gone? Well, there's no place for shuttles to take off from here, and they couldn't have moved them all on foot. Hey, I don't have long, and I know you don't either. You wouldn't be contacting me unless it was for something serious. Good instincts. There's something you need to know. Not tomorrow, not in a little while. Jakaya, he's taking way too long to say it. So he asked you to tell me? No, he's so focused on what's going on, he didn't even notice me sneak away to call you. I don't know how else to say this. Mandalore is missing. Missing? What do you mean? I mean, no one can find her. Jack can't even get in touch with her over comms. The traitors are out in full force, and it's like she's just... disappeared. Whatever she's doing, I hope you find her soon. Yeah, me too. You deserve to know as much as anyone. You've done right by her. Hell, you're fighting for her right now. Speaking of, how's it going down there? We are trying to stop this place from melting down, remember? Who was that? What's she talking about? I found her holding off a group of hidden chain, by herself. She says they've taken the cooling rods out of this geothermal station. Do you know what Hedda would want with something like that? Not a clue. But I'll let Jakai know about this. You need anything. Call. Alright? All these strangers show up and my sister disappears. And like an idiot, I've been helping one of the strangers. That Mandalorian you were talking to? How do I know he doesn't have something to do with all this? How do I know that you don't have something to do with all of this? If I were working with the Hidden Chain, why would I kill them? Why would I help you? I don't know. Why would you? Let's just get this over with. As many cooling rods as Amandos took, they'd need something big to move them. There's an old tram system that runs out of here. It's not in the best shape, but it would get the job done. It's as good of a lead as any. Let's check it out. Fine. It's this way. This data is a mess, but it looks like the trams were heading toward a supply depot. Fort Ronick. I know it. It's a good place as any to start looking. I'll show you where it is. Faster we get this done, faster I can get back to looking for my sister. Arn, can you hear me? I'm here. We might know where to find the cooling rods. Fort Ronick. If the Separatists let the hidden chain in there, I doubt we'll get a warm welcome. Get back to Captain Bly's and tell him we might need some backup. Don't worry, I'll handle it. What is all this? What were they doing? Mina! Mina! Oh no! Rami! Yeah, I mean, kind of. I didn't know him that well. He was a friend of Mina's. No one's seen him the last few days, either. I was starting to think that maybe they just... ran off somewhere... somewhere better than here. And she'd call and tell me how great it is. That's what I get for hoping, I guess. You're right. We need to finish this. This hidden chain scum has a lot to answer for. They won't. It's always been us against the rest of the galaxy. But we were never ready for this. I want to make them regret ever setting foot on Orb Mantel.
Captain Blyes is asking for an update on those cooling rods. I bet he is. What? We do have something. Tell him! They're taking people! You tell Blyes this isn't some back alley dust up that he can just write up and forget about. It's time for him to get off his backside and do something! I'll pass this along. I just hope you can stop the hidden chain before they do too much damage. Maybe. Or maybe the people they took were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. If it comes to that, then I guess it can't be helped. Talk soon. Fort Ronick isn't far from here. I bet a month's wages they just walk the rest of the way. You want to take out the rest of the hidden chain? Let's go find them. Separatist scum! You're going to get us all killed! Unbelievable. Nothing to say for yourself! Not until we find out where they're keeping their prisoners. Destroying these? Killing you? I will have served the cause well. Where are the people you took? They're coming. Get the assets off world. Gah! We need to get out of here! Yes! Right behind you! Petra! Mina, thank goodness you're still here. You showed up just in time. Some of the others are already gone. They just came and took some more. Wouldn't be long before they came back for the rest of us. Can you get everyone out of here? Yeah, I think so. Make sure you avoid the lower level. The Separatists collapse the caves. Then we'll find another way back to town. Everyone, we're not out of this yet, but it's not over. If we want to make sure the Separatists and whoever these thugs are that helps them pay for what they're doing, we need to make it home. Stay together, watch each other's backs. Let's go! Don't let them take anyone else! They've got the rest of the cooling rods. I heard it was you who was meddling in my raid. Looks like Vizsla doesn't even bother to come along anymore. Just sends you out to clean up her mess. But I guess it's only fair. 
Seeing how she had us running your errands for as long as we did. Who is he? I don't know. You're better than this. You've got strength and skill that would put some of my elite to shame. Field Marshal Call rewards people like us. She'd welcome your help, if you ever get tired of being Shay's bootlicker. Shay has accomplished more than you or Hedda could ever dream of. I owe her for the time she's helped me. Everything people know her for is long in the past. She's not fit to lead us into the future we deserve. The Field Marshal is. The answer is no. <laughs> Kesarim! You made the biggest mistake of your life, ROAT. Field Marshal Cole will have your pretty head for this. I'm not afraid of Hedda. No? What about everyone else? What do you think will happen when you don't have her favor anymore? I don't care. Your brother won't protect you. Shut up! Hell, Rakan would give anything. For the honor of killing you, traitor. Do I need to be on my guard around you? No, you don't. I still don't trust you. This could all be a trap. I don't blame you for thinking that. Hedda lies. But I don't. Hedda's opened the holocron that we... That I took from Elom. She found plans on it. For a machine. Her followers are collecting what she needs to build it. I tried to tell Hedda I won't help her do this. But you don't say no to Hedda. You don't walk away. I don't know if I want to walk away. I've been doing what I can to sabotage them, but trying not to get caught makes it impossible to do anything. I need help. Real help. If this is a ploy, you've put a lot of thought into it. I don't know what else I can do to convince you. Feel much- I'm- I didn't- You know you can't let him live. Choices like this aren't always easy, but they still must be made. I've been making hard decisions my entire life. I knew this would get complicated, but... I need to cover my tracks, set some things up before anyone gets suspicious. I do want your help, but... I'm getting that holocron away from Hedda, whether or not you agree to it. I'm trusting you. For now. 
Don't make me regret it. That's fine. Whatever it takes to stop her. When I'm ready to move, I'll let you know. Your friend is gone. I'll tell you more later, but for now, the hidden chain are gone. Didn't expect anything less. I'll see you in a little while. I sent your description of the Mandalorian you killed to Master Saldarin. I thought maybe she had something in her files that could identify him. You were face to face with Tyrus Brokenblade, leader of Clan Varad, and an integral part of Hedda Cole's inner circle. No wonder your comms were down for as long as they were. Things must have gotten really out of hand. Nothing is ever too much for me. There was one thing I didn't expect. Sahar Katin showed up. She helped me fight. Wait, what? She says she's been sabotaging the hidden chain, and she has a plan to get Darth Null's holocron away from Hedda. Do you think she was telling the truth? Honestly, I don't know what to believe. Well... If she's ready to switch sides, we need to be ready to support her. I'll ask Tao about this. She'll know best how to approach Sahar. You can't keep acting like this didn't happen! People here deserve better than this! Where did you run off to? I needed to get back to my sister. I'm sorry for what happened to her, but you think I have the resources to stop a Mandalorian raid? The Mandalorians showed up because the Separatists opened the door and said, Come on in! The same Separatists that you and your Republic cronies let get away with murder! None of you care about us at all! You need to do something about these Separatist blies, or this will happen again. Real easy for you to say with the kind of backing you get from the Republic. Feel like sharing? You don't need extra soldiers or fancy weapons to take on the Separatists. Mina didn't. Every time they stole, or intimidated someone into joining, or shook down someone who wouldn't look the other way, she spoke up. And she made people listen. What did the Separatists do? Got her fired. Trashed her apartment. Threatened her friends. Made her life hell. What did you do when she needed help? Mina reported every incident to local command. How many times do you think your bosses followed up? I told her to stop, to leave well enough alone before she got hurt or worse. But she didn't stop. She knew that was wrong. We show the Separatists what they can get away with, and look what happened. They rounded up anybody who told them no, and handed them over to a bunch of monsters! If this is where fence-sitting gets us, then maybe Mina had the right idea. The best way to strike at the Separatists is to help those they hurt. With your connection to the Force, you can defend them. You can give them something to believe in. I know it won't mean much, but... It won't be too long before the Separatists come after us again. You can save your empty apologies for them. We're used to having to watch each other's backs, but doing it alone is getting pretty exhausting. You want things to get better on Ord Mantel, Captain? Stop leaving the hard stuff up to the rest of us. I had a few spare hands sweep Fort Ronick. We managed to scrape together a few of the cooling rods that got left behind. It's not looking good. It's gonna take a lot of time and a lot of work to stabilize the thermal station. And it's not even a sure bet. I'd hate to have to kick everyone off the island, so this is gonna take up all my attention. Not like I have a lot of it to spare. Petra's right. We really could use a hand. I've gotten to a point where I don't know what else to do. 
Anything else you feel like helping out with around here? You go right ahead. Malgus, Null's holocron, Mandalorians wreaking havoc, now this. Could it get any more complicated? It never ends, does it? It's a good thing the Republic has us to clean it all up. So, uh, I guess now we... what? Wait for a signal from Sahar? If she meant what she said. Let's hope we don't have to wait too long to find out. Sahar! Sahar! Where are you? I told you I'm not going to cover for you if you fall behind. Sorry, Rakan. I'll be back soon. What happened? Nothing. I was tracking something down. For Hedda. But it was a dead end. That's all. Just hurry up. <laughs> 